okay, okay, hear me out. You're probably like, Siege, you're supposed to release a memories recipe, episode one. Where is it? Well, that's gonna be the next video. Stay tuned for the premiere. Anyway, let's get into this video. Hey everyone, Siege here. This video is brought to you by Turbox. The company has sent me one of their thingamajigs for review and all. I don't know why I called it like that. <laughs> this is called the Turbox Neo. This is an editing console that is designed for a lot of things like video editing, photo editing, drawing, animation, etc. This is something that is made for improving your work experience or making your workflow faster. We're gonna see if this thing actually does the job, so let's see what's inside the box. The box consists of four things, which includes the Turbox itself, a USB-C cable, a manual that is very, very thick, and a safety instructions guide. Here I am messing around with the Turbox itself. It's really small and it's just about the size of my hand, so I can rest my palm comfortably on top of it, while I can just move around my fingers a little bit so that I can reach the buttons. The buttons are very, very satisfying to press, by the way. Maybe it could be a stress reliever at the same time. <laughs> now, before I get to use this thing, I have to download the driver first. You can find the driver in their website. Now, as soon as I open the interface, it looks very complex, but it's not what you think it is because some of the buttons are already automatically set for you, so you won't really have much of a problem with it. But of course, you can customize them to whatever shortcut key you want. I just add the ones that I usually use, especially when it comes to drawing and animating. So undo, redo, zoom, color picker, brush switcher, saving, etc. Now that everything is set up, let's get into testing. For the speed paint, I'm just drawing my main OC, Siege, being the confident woman she is. But the creator is the exact opposite, even though it's based on her physically. Before I say my thoughts though, enjoy the speed paint first. Okay, my thoughts about this device. I'm honestly surprised. <laughs> I'm gonna say this right now. I fell in love with the device. <laughs> Everything just worked out really well and I didn't really have any problems with it. Well, maybe at first because I wasn't used to it and I had to memorize the shortcut keys I inputted in the console. But as time went on, I slowly got the hang out of it. It was an advantage for me as well because the tablet I'm using, the Gaumann PD1220, doesn't have any shortcut keys. So by just having it on one hand without having to reach for the keyboard, that just makes it so much better. So instead of me hovering around the keys on my keyboard, I just have it on one hand and I can do it seamlessly. I'm genuinely impressed. I also tried this on Light 2D Cubism by the way, and again, it's really really convenient for me. Though I couldn't show the footage I made cause... Well, I was animating the first episode of A Memories Recipe, so... Yeah, spoilers. I don't want to give out any spoilers. You just have to wait for the episode. I'm sorry, but you gotta deal with it. It's coming out soon anyway, so don't worry. <laughs> 
Anyway, time to answer the question. Do I recommend this device? Absolutely, positively lutely. Yes, I highly recommend it, especially that you don't really have to reach out for your keyboard to do the shortcut keys. You just have it all in your palm, which is very, you know, handy for you. <laughs> Get it? Handy? Because, oh, uh, whatever. Seriously speaking though, this really improved my workflow and I'm really happy that Turbox gets to send this to me. If you want one for yourself, the store link will be in the description box below. I will also be putting a coupon code there, so better check it out. Anyway, that's all for me. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you in the next video. See you out.